A major winter storm is forecasted to reach Boston tomorrow morning and continue into Sunday morning. This has the potential to be a historic storm, a huge one. The National Weather Service has already issued a blizzard warning for Boston, and we are expecting as much as 18 to 24 inches of snow and 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. This is likely to be an intense, dangerous storm with heavy snow, high winds, and whiteout conditions. And so I want to just thank everyone in advance for your collaboration and your patience and checking on your neighbors and making sure everybody is safe. Because the snow will be coming down pretty fast at the peak of it, you'll hear from Chief Franklin Hodge, but our plows will be on the road, but we're going to just keep clearing as the snow is coming down. It may be a little while before we reach all the way down to clear streets, and so I want to just ask everyone to please be patient and be safe. In preparation, we have activated our Emergency Operations Center to ensure a coordinated public safety response. And the City of Boston is declaring a snow emergency beginning tonight at 9 p.m. I'll briefly run through a few reminders of what that means for everyone, and, and Chief Franklin Hodge will add details along with some of our other speakers. In terms of parking, this blizzard will make road conditions very dangerous during the storm for parking and for driving. And so the safest place to be is in your home or in your apartment. If you must travel, please bundle up and dress warmly and take the tea if at all possible. If you have to drive, give yourself plenty of time, keep plenty of room for our crews to be able to maneuver on the roads and keep our streets safe. And no matter what your mode of travel is, if you do have to be out and about, remember that there will be significant delays during the storm. Tonight at 9 p.m., a parking ban along major arteries will go into effect. If you have a resident sticker and need to park your car, you can find free and discounted parking garages across the city, and they are listed at boston.gov snow. During a snow emergency, parking is not allowed in Boston Public School lots. Space savers will be allowed, except for in the South End. Once the snow emergency ends, you will have 48 hours to remove any space saver, and then they will be picked up by our Public Works Department. In the past few days, I'm so grateful for the department, of, our Public Works Department for really working hard and, and getting ready in advance. We've replenished salt supplies in anticipation of the storm, and we are close to full capacity. Public Works has hundreds of pieces of equipment standing by to plow and salt the roads both during and after the storm. Our Office of Emergency Management is in contact with the National Weather Service to ensure that we have the latest details and updates on the storm. And if you'd like to stay up to date as well, we will be activating notifications. You can sign up at boston.gov slash alert Boston. We're also coordinating our response with state agencies and constituent services will be available at 311 for all non-emergency issues. Thank you so much to our hardworking 311 staff and all of our city staff who pitch in in these high call volume times and who will be working through the weekend to answer all of those calls. When it comes to snow clearance, just want to remind everyone that property owners are required to fully clear snow from sidewalks and curb ramps around your property within three hours after the snow has stopped falling. If snowfall ends overnight, that time timeline becomes three hours after sunrise. Curbs and ramps should be cleared fully and continually during the storm. And please remember that clearing snow and ice from private property onto the street or sidewalk is prohibited. And we will do our best not to plow the snow from streets onto private property as well. So we, we need everyone to, to work together. In a major snow event, we ask that residents please look out for one another. Check on older neighbors and offer help to those who may not be able to shovel themselves out. And for those who are able, lending a hand or a bit of extra shoveling can help your neighborhood stay safe after a storm. I want to thank my colleagues on the City Council. We just had a snow preparation call with council colleagues as well, and several councillors are already coordinating processes and collaboratives within their own districts to make sure that our seniors and our neighbors are safe. So thank you so much to everyone for stepping up. For anyone who is shoveling, please just take care of yourself, be cautious, and look out for signs of overexertion chest pain, shortness of breath, lightheadedness, nausea, or vomiting. Please call 911 if those symptoms don't resolve. 
And if you see anyone in the cold who looks like they might be immobile, disoriented, or underdressed, please call 911 as well, and our Boston Public Health Commission will connect those in need with emergency shelters, outreach providers, city agencies, and first responders, and we'll be doing wellness checks as well. The Boston Public Health Commission's Engagement Center is open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and can provide indoor heated space and basic amenities. Boston's emergency shelters, thank you Chief Dillon, are open 24 hours a day. Men can go to the 112 Southampton, Southampton Street Shelter and women can access the Woods Mullen Shelter, which is at 794 Mass Ave. Please refer anyone in need to the services available and check on your neighbors. Our public safety is a collective responsibility. A few notes on heating and fire safety, and uh, Chief and Commissioner will, will follow up as well. Please make sure that our firefighters can be safe and help, um, help ensure that catch basins and fire hydrants remain accessible. Carbon monoxide poisoning is also a major concern with winter storms, and so be sure to clear snow from the area around exhaust vents so that carbon monoxide doesn't back up into your home. Always heat your home safely and make sure you have a working carbon monoxide detector on every floor. And never use any product not specifically designed to heat your home as a heating source. Be careful when you're using space heaters. You want to make sure the space heater is always at least three feet away from any people, animals, or anything that could burn. Plug your space heater directly into the wall and turn off and unplug it before sleeping or leaving the room. So finally, we will keep everyone informed this, as the situation evolves over the weekend. With that, I want to encourage everyone to stay warm, stay safe. Uh, we will be watching carefully and um, hope that this snow is, is going to be something that brings us together. I can already see the, the sledding and the snowball fights that our young people will be able to enjoy since this is happening on a weekend. And um, the snow is anticipated to end on Sunday, but if for some reason we will need to talk about school closing on Monday, we will discuss that later. But the plan right now is, is that schools will be open on Monday.